Okay. So um, collectively, there is a wave of, I would call it purging energy going through uh, the collective who are honestly here to do their ascension. Now, it feels like purging. It, feel, it makes you feel like you are purging something. But here's some of the symptoms of it. A headache, sweats, feeling cold, feeling hot, but you're not feverish. So in other words, if you take your temperature, you are not going to register a fever, really. Maybe a slight, slight raise in your body's core temperature. Um, you're not really chilled to the bone, but it kind of is oscillating. Okay, this is a part of the oscillation effect. This is a passive version of the oscillation effect. And it's a bit like, you know, shaking things inside you. But feminine essence organs. So for example, areas inside your head, the pituitary gland, which has helped to manage your hormones, regulate you, uh, reproductive system, digestive system, your appetite may drop you might feel no appetite. You may feel um, what I call lurchy, like you feel a bit of vertigo and you feel like you're, you're going to be nauseous or you will vomit. Where that's coming from is the reflex, the rejection reflex that we all have if we ingest something and we're like, mm, and we need to immediately get rid of it. Now, this is important because this actually pertains to soulmates, especially certain soulmates and people. This is a part of our body's, uh, you could maybe say alarm system that helps us to avoid or deter or simply skirt around certain people and situations. It also has to do with your past lives, particularly war deprivation, um, things of the nature of like having to witness something that's highly unjust, things like that. And we've all had that, but it's being purged out. Okay. You can have some uh, pains in the lower areas that feel like cramps. And again, what you want to do is um, eat almost next to nothing if this comes on, because it can come on very suddenly. This is the thing with ascension. Ascension is very quick and swift and rapid, but the resulting detox can take a little bit of time. So how much time would it take you? Well, um, it can take you possibly up to two days that you stay empty, you do a fast, a uh, liquid fast. So what I mean is like, just to have liquids, be as empty as possible. The other thing about it is for females, there are aspects of birth in there. And so collectively, in some ways, you could say we are going through the birth canal. However, we are also ridding ourselves of body memories of birth, giving birth to people, pregnancies, bad pregnancies, pregnant by the wrong person, uh, pregnant under circumstances we had no control over, um, miscarriages, etc. So in that regard, it can be a little extreme for some people. And for other people, it may be a little bit um, less severe, but you may feel this. Now, this will uh, come up again down the line, usually at, uh, an well, approaching another change of season or a full moon. And it does pertain to clearing the reproductive areas, hormonal balance, so that you can be together with your twin flame. And it can be alarming, but as long as you know your body and you know you're not ill, you know that um, you're not registering a temperature. Some people can confuse it for a stomach bug, stomach flu, um, feeling sick get as still as possible. If you're able to take maybe a day off of work, if you feel this way, do it. And um, just say that you're sick. You're having, you are having a version of the Ascension flu. Uh, it's not always easy to deal with, but it's easier when you're able to be as still as possible, be as empty as possible and allow it to pass through you.
So this can happen very passively. Um, some of the warning signs are a little bit of fatigue and some headaches, you know, where it seems to kind of come up or for females, if you're approaching the time of your cycle. And again, it's weird. That's one of the paradoxes here is that some of the symptoms will seem out of context and not at all related to love. And yet it is to put you back in love, enveloped in love, protected by love, filled with love and re-energized, reinvigorated and made healthy again with love, with 5D love. So that part happens in your sleep. And so this is actually one of the ways that we just must surrender. And when we surrender, we, you know, have to give in to the sensations, the feelings, the adjustments that are taking place. So I hope it's not severe for you. If you have further questions, um, there are some herbal recommendations I would make, uh, which would be black cohosh for cramps and some of the vertigo and headaches, dung kwai for the mood and for providing a sense of balance, um, schisandra berry, which is um, very good for this like up down oscillating feeling of um, I'm hot, I'm cold, et cetera, because the hot is the feminine, divine feminine energy. And the cold sensation is the divine masculine energy from 5D. So it does oscillate within you, but that's the physical sensation of it. If you were to see this, um, it would look like a sine wave it would look like a very, very tight sine wave of things that have happened that then begins to be nudged and loosened and purged out. So um, I hope it's less severe for you. Uh, it will happen. It will happen to everyone, maybe not in this time frame, but at some point it will happen. So thank you.